in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and use me. I want to take nation. I want to win souls. I want to make heaven in the name of Jesus. So, Hey, 
Only eh. Uh, I noticed that since these days, eh, uh, you have not been asking about food again. You have not been talking about sex again. You are not becoming spiritual as I want to. No longer can I. Every time, food, sex. At least you are not helping me. Let's build the nation. Let's take over territory. Let's see God. Let us make heaven. That my goal or achieving that goal. You're supporting me. I'm happy, honey. I'm happy now you've come. Thank God. <laughs> Hi. My sweetheart. The only secret behind my sudden happiness is my secretary at the office. Oh yes. Because she started giving me food. And attention, so indirectly it has affected my mood and started making me happy. Will you be quiet? Yeah, your secretary, honey, your secretary at your fix. Oh, sweetheart, come on. Okay, wait. Let me tell you a story. You see, it started like this. Some months ago, well, let's say two, three months, five months ago, when you've not been taking care of me. Think about how I feel sexually. You don't think about my emotions. So when I get to the office, looking so miserable, so hungry and tired, and there's this our secretary at the office. She always come around, you know, asking me, Uncle, why are you so sad? Uncle, you look so tired and hungry. Really? How can you be so carnal like that now? Eh? I am here praying for us to take nation, take over territory, for us to make heaven. And you are there eating your secretary food, a strange woman. How can you be like that, honey? In fact, what it's really known is for me to visit her house. Hey! I'm gone. So you are even planning on how to visit her home. So you are cheating on me. You are cheating on me with your secretary. Ah! This cannot happen. Where a woman of God like me, do you tell that lady who I am? No, I am a daughter of Zion. I am a child of God. I am a woman of God. This cannot happen. You see, my pastor must hear of this. My pastor, our pastor, must hear of this. Tell your secretary that I'm coming for her. Spiritually, I am ready for her. It can never happen. Another woman giving my husband food and you're eating. You don't even know who will take over my territory. No one will take over my husband. In the name of Jesus, it will not happen. When I am still alive, a woman of God like me, hello, Trying to win souls for God. So, her 
in our office, there is this beautiful secretary of ours, so, who has been giving me food of late. So, I eat her food and I intend going to her house to catch some. Can you imagine, Pastor? He is busy cheating on me with his secretary. Why am I praying, killing myself? Sister Rose. Yes, Pastor. You are turning the Bible upside down. Thank God you say your youthful age. You didn't think of giving birth? Okay, you, you, do you forget the, the other part of the Bible that said, go into the world and multiply? Do you forget that? Why not win your husband first? Hmm? But Pastor, I only expect him to exercise some patience with me. Let me win these souls for some time. Sis can come, children can come, food can still come. He can order food, he can cook for himself. But no. I to take over this territory. Focus on making heaven, knowing God, for becoming a great woman of God. I want to take over nations. I want my voice to be heard for God. That's what I'm trying to do, Pastor. No! You are not. My sister, you are not doing the right thing. If you are doing the right thing, why not stay in your father's house? Why do you get married? Because once you get married, you have to prepare to take over your wifely duty. You must take the duty and you must perform it. You know me. I'm a pastor. I have three kids. To win a man, you have to cook. His stomach falls, his stomach to make sure he's satisfied. And you make him feel okay on the bed. That is the way to win a man. The heavenly rays must stop you from cooking from your husband or even giving bed. Make sure that your husband is okay. As soon as you are doing that, your husband will not look elsewhere. Hmm? Oh, Mr. Rose. You know the bed blood rush through our vein. You eating from your secretary. The devil is there to steal and to destroy. Oh, tell him. One day he must lead one thing or the other. Eh? You know you have said your wife denied you sex for six months. It really, you have feelings. Hmm? Please. But Pastor, if my wife here can start giving me food, and if my wife that I'm seeing here will start having sex with me, I promise I will never look at her our, our, our secretary. Oh, After all, because of the way my wife has not born in one, that will be a prayerful warrior or born again, or I don't even know. I will All I do is pray, pray, pray. Or see me pastor, talk to her. Talk to her. What of if he walk here with a second wife? I God forbid. Thank you. my portion. I buy my cast of every straight man in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am a pastor. It can never be my portion. I know. I know what I carry. That is the reason why. That is the reason why you have to win your husband. I will try. No, will try not you will try. It is your duty. I you must perform that. You know me. Sister Rose. Yes, Pastor. Please, I am begging you. I am begging you. Win your husband first. Hmm? Charity begins at home. I will go food for him. I will, I will get up for sex. He will run for sex. Uh, but I still want to win that so you definitely I want to win. 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 I will make this heaven. You definitely we will make the heaven. Amen, Pastor. Oh, no. I need to start going, okay? okay Pastor, thank please. You for coming, eh? Please take I care of your husband, okay? I will. Oh, no.